Today, we're adding a customization into your Shopify store to make your product descriptions dynamic. Before this, you may have thought that your product descriptions can't change no matter how many variants you have, and you would be right. But I've spoken to a number of store owners who wish that they could have variant specific product descriptions, and they wanted to do this because it would help their customers use your experience to show the relevant information when it's needed, uh, which in turn would improve their store's conversion rate. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So if this is relevant for your store, or even if it isn't, if you're looking for some more actionable advice on how to increase the conversions on your store, then we're offering a free personalized action plan. You just need to fill out a quick 30 second form on our website and we'll take a look. Otherwise, if you want to hire us for any other personalized help, then head over to theprompted.co slash hire us and book a call with us. I'll share all those links in the description, uh, but yeah, let's take a look at product descriptions and making them dynamic. Okay, so here's our demo store. You can see here we've got these shoes and a description here. Now, uh, if I go to a different variant, you can see here that the description changes. And we can go to a different variant and it changes again. Um, and these two are actually the same. So um, that's essentially what we're doing here. We're going to have the ability to change the text that we have here to uh, be specific to each one of the variants. And so there's a lot of different use cases you can have for this. Like if your different variants have maybe a different material or different sizes or just different information that you wanna share with it, then you can actually have that specific information in there for that variant instead of having it as one big block of text to show it for all of your variants. And so let's take a look at some of these options that we've built into this feature. So uh, here we made it as a new block called variant description. And then we have these different settings here. So the first one is to specify the uh, the meta field namespace and key. So we can actually point to a different variant meta field if we wanted. Um, but let's and we're going to get back into this, but let's first look at this fallback. So uh, if your product doesn't actually, uh, sorry, if your variant doesn't actually have anything in it, so let's go to our product here and we can go to our, let's bulk edit, and we can look at our variants and you can see here that uh, we've selected this variant here, variant description. So that's the one that we're using right now. Uh, if we come here, variant underscore description. So we've placed this text here for the size seven shoe. And you can see here, that's what it shows. And we've placed this text for size eight shoe. And we can see that's what it shows. Um, but we don't have anything for size nine and 10. So for nine and 10, we're still showing something here. And so that's what that fallback is for. So if we come back here, we can set the fallback to be the product description, for example. So um, in this case, that's exactly what it is. So if we actually show our standard product description, you can see here, that's actually, uh, it's actually the same thing because we're pulling that information from the product description, but it doesn't have to be the product description. You can make it this rich text here. So if you decide it's rich text, then you can kind of put in whatever text you want to be the, the default. Uh, you can even choose a page, right? So in this case, it would pull from this page here. So this is um, this is text and an image as the fallback. Um, and you can just say none, like it'll show nothing at all. And maybe you just have uh, the product description that you want always there. And then for some variants, you have some uh, specific information. So you can have that to set it up that way as well. Now. You saw here earlier that if we fallback was a page, you can actually add images into your description. And so that's what we can actually do with the meta field key here. So if we come back to our, uh, our variants, you can see here, there's another, uh, meta field that we created called variant description page. And so we've set here eight and nine to pull these two different pages. So why don't we update this to be page and then, um, Let's change this back to product description. And now if we go to nine, you can see here we're pulling from this page here. And if we go to eight, we're pulling from this page. So 
a lot of flexibility here. You can, so you can set the variant description to be either a rich text field or a page. Uh, and then you can set your fallback to be the product description, uh, this rich text here, a page or none. And this gives you all the flexibility that you're gonna need in order to set up your products, uh, your product description with that variant, the uh, dynamic variant features in whichever way you want. Um, so if that looks interesting to you, then let's start adding it to your store. Okay, so now we're in our Shopify themes area and we've just installed uh, a fresh new version of Dawn 15, which is the latest version uh, as we're recording. And uh, we're going to make our edits to this theme, but if you're going to be editing a theme that you've already applied some customizations to, then just make sure to duplicate it first. Um, I can't do it because I'm already hit the maximum, but uh, this is a fresh theme anyway. But for you, uh, you're gonna wanna duplicate it so that if anything goes wrong, you can always easily go back to the previous version. Um, so now that you've done that, the first step you're gonna want to do is to create a meta field. And so we'll go to settings, uh, custom data, and then variants. So this will be a variant meta field because we are making variant specific descriptions and we're going to add a definition. Now, I've already created two meta fields, one rich text and one page. And like I mentioned in the demo portion that you can actually choose uh, to use a rich text or page meta field. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it'll work with both, but it has to be one of these two. And you, like, uh, like I mentioned, you just set it in the settings. Uh, so um, let's just create a rich text meta field, for example. So variant description, uh, rich text. And then we're going to make the type rich text. Uh, but if you wanted it to be a page, then you just select page instead. So we're going to make this a rich text and uh, we're go to save. But before that, this is the namespace and key that you're going to be using in the theme editor. Uh, so we'll show that as we're setting it up a little bit later. So let's save. Okay, and now we can exit. And um, we're going to now hop into our theme code. So we'll edit code. And the first file we're going to be updating is the main product.liquid file. Okay, and here, we're going to look for the description. So when description, so this is the, uh, this is the regular product description. Um, so let's, uh, let's just go above it and we're going to copy and paste our first block of code right here. And so this is our variant description block that we're adding in here. Uh, next, let's go down into the schema settings. So these will be the settings for our different blocks. Um, let's look for description again. Okay, so let's just come right above there uh, and we're gonna add the settings for our new block and we'll just copy and paste this in right here. Okay, so let's save that. And if we come to our customization settings, and then come to the product. And let's change this to the shoe we were looking at. Okay, so we are going to add a block and we are going to add our variant description. And so there we go. So we have, um, it's already pulling the meta field that we created previously, but let's use the new one that we just created, All right? So in this case, we haven't actually updated any of the variant meta fields of this uh, variant meta field. Um, so it doesn't actually show the specific information and it ends up falling back on the product description, which is why you see it here twice. Um, let's just drag this up. Um, So like I mentioned previously, you can either have it so that you uh, completely replace the description. So you can just hide this or delete the standard description, or you can use it as a supplementary information uh, that's variant specific. So then maybe you put it above it or you put it below it, and then you just share that, that specific information to 
uh, your your individual variants. Um, so I'll just leave both in there for now. Um, but we've got this product description fallback. Maybe you want it to use the rich text fallback. So here you can type in anything you want. So it's like this is the rich text fallback, right? Um, and then so now it'll just place it in there. So no matter which variant you choose, it's going to use that fallback because, like I mentioned, we haven't actually set our variant uh, variant meta field data yet. Um, but let's do that now. So we're going to come to our products. Let's just refresh this page here. Um, just as a reminder, this is our product right here. All right, this is our product right here. And we're just coming in and doing a bulk edit of our of all of our variants. So we can see it all at once. And we can open up our columns to show the variant meta field that we just created. And so now here we can put this information in. So we could say uh, this is size seven. And then maybe we can make this bold. Yeah, okay, there we go. Now we have a bold. Uh, this is size eight. We're gonna make this italics. And this is, okay, maybe we add a heading. This is size nine. Sorry. There, this is size nine, we make that a heading. Uh, and let's save that. Okay, so now if we come back to our customization settings here, um, let's save. We can, we can already see here that it's pulling that very information that we just set. Um, but it's not updating with the variants, right? And because that's that's because we haven't actually finished our customization yet. So this uh, gets us to the point where we can display the information, uh, but now it has to actually change with each, with, uh, each variant change. And so let's do that now. And so we're going to update the file product info.js. And then in here, we're going to be looking for the method handle update product info. Uh, that's where it's being called right here. And so what we can do is we'll just come right beneath this method. So you can highlight this curly bracket. It'll show you where it ends and we can just come below it here. We're going to copy and paste our new method here, update description. And then we're going to make a call to this uh, description in our uh, handle update product info method. So in here, we're going to just go beneath this uh, update media call and we're going to call our update description and let's save. And now if we refresh our page, right, we've got our, this is size nine here. And if we click this, it's going to change it to size eight. We'll update this. It changes it to size seven. And if we come here, then it goes to the fallback, right? Because we haven't set anything in the meta field here. And that's pretty much it. So like I mentioned, you have the option to update this to any variant meta field that you select, uh, so long as it's either rich text or page. So uh, we have our page meta field here. And so you can actually look here, we've created these pages. So it's called Gazelle Variant Description 2 and we have some text, we have an image, uh, we've got variant description one with some text and an image, and we can just render that page into our product description. Um, so let's just use the, uh, the namespace and key for our page meta field, and we're going to just update this to page, right? variant description page, uh, and now it's going to show the page. Right, and then we can click around and we'll change. Oh, so sorry, let's uh, save and refresh. It's still, uh, it wasn't, we need to refresh so that the product info.js updates apply. So there we go. So now we can kind of change between our two variants 
and you can see that it's changing the image, it's changing the text, uh, and then our fallback is placed here. Um, we can maybe make this none, right? So maybe we don't need the fallback so that uh, now it'll just show just the description in this case. All right, so that's pretty much it. I hope that helps you, but you should now have uh, product descriptions that are dynamically changing with your variants. So let me know if you found the tutorial helpful and how you plan on using this customization. Uh, and as a reminder, if you wanted any personalized help, you can hire us. Just book a call with us at theprompted.co. Uh, but that's it for today. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.